America's Got Talent may as well be called America's Got Drama, based on the sketchy things that tend to go on behind the scenes. The NBC hit has seen its share of feuds, replacements, and shocking allegations. Here are some shady things you may not know about America's Got Talent. Nick Cannon, who had hosted America's Got Talent since 2009, angered network execs with a crack he made about NBC taking away his, quote, black card during a Showtime comedy special in 2017. According to TMZ, NBC higher-ups reportedly believed speaking negatively of the network was a violation of his contract. Sources claimed that network execs considered firing Cannon, but ultimately decided against it. However, Cannon quit the show just days later, with sources telling TMZ he felt he was treated differently than other celebs who'd previously made jokes about their networks. At the time, he wrote on Facebook, "...after days of deliberating over some extremely disappointing news that I was being threatened with termination by executives because of a comedy special that was only intended to bring communities closer together, I was to be punished for a joke." Cannon told Yahoo Entertainment, "...it was a freedom of speech process, and me standing firm for my own beliefs and culturally who I am. And they wanted me to shape up and get in line and watch my choice of words or how I speak about the network. I told them, you can't fire a boss. I quit." In November 2019, Variety reported that season 14 judge Gabrielle Union had complained about a racially charged joke from guest Jay Leno that April. Though Union allegedly urged producers to report the incident, it was supposedly never brought to HR. But the joke was cut from the show's broadcast when it aired months later. Union also reportedly expressed concerns over a racially insensitive act from a contestant during auditions, which was also cut from the broadcast. However, insiders claimed these incidents were just some of the many that contributed to a toxic culture on the AGT set. Alleging that Union and Julianne Hough were both criticized for their appearances, sources claimed that Union was singled out multiple times because her hairstyles were considered, quote, too black for the show's audience. Huff denied the claims, while an NBC insider said the appearance notes both women received were for hair continuity purposes. Huff and Union were both let go from the show after a single season. Sharon Osbourne, who judged America's Got Talent from 2007 to 2012, spoke out after Union's exit and accused producers of sexism in both casting and wages. During a December 2019 episode of The Talk, she said, "...it is a boys' club. The boys take care of each other, and the women are not paid as much as the men." After pointing out that she was on the show before Howie Mandel and that AGT's ratings were better during her tenure than when Simon Cowell joined the panel, Osborne noted how Cowell and fellow judge L.A. Reid always worked alongside younger, attractive women on The X Factor USA. She said, "...I was open. I told L.A. Reid and I told Simon. It's nothing I wouldn't say to their face. You look like two dirty old men." They looked, the guys looked like two high rollers in Vegas who picked up, who picked up a couple of kids. Osborne also alleged that Mandel got better non-monetary perks than she did, including private jet flights, but noted that she held no ill will toward Mandel personally. As for the network? NBC oh. can kiss my ass! <laughs> Howard Stern is another former America's Got Talent judge who's had some words for Simon Cowell. In 2015, the infamous Sony hack revealed that Cowell lobbied NBC to hire him to replace Stern on the show, according to the New York Daily News. Fast forward to August 2019, when Stern lashed out at Cowell on his radio show about the hiring and firing mess. According to Radar Online, he said, "...he had a campaign behind my back, which I wouldn't have known if the North Koreans hadn't hacked Sony." They exposed these emails he had going, "...we can get rid of Stern and I'll work for so much cheaper." And by the way, if I had really wanted that job, then I would have been pissed. But I just find him sleazy, and he is a liar." After Union's unceremonious exit from AGT, Stern accused Cal of being sexist. Claiming that Cal was behind Union's termination, Stern speculated that the current lineup of male judges wasn't likely to change, according to Deadline. Stern alleged, "...he has it set up that the men stay, no matter how old they are, no matter how fat they are, no matter how ugly they are, no matter how talentless they are. But what he manages to do on all his shows is he constantly replaces the hot chicks with hotter chicks and younger chicks, which is so obvious." 
two seasons in a row, the female judge is being fired while Simon and Howie soldier on. During a January 2020 interview on the Today Show, Terry Crews, who became the host in season 14, was asked about America's Got Talent's ongoing toxic set allegations. And he said, I can't speak for sexism because I'm not a woman, but I can speak on any racism comments. That was never my experience. In fact, it was the most diverse place I have ever been in my 20 years of entertainment. Gabrielle Union, of course, didn't take too kindly to his remarks, tweeting that she had multiple witnesses to back up her case. Alluding that Cruz tried to, quote, throw her under the bus, she later claimed that he'd lied before following up with more tweets about the alleged lack of diversity behind the scenes, even in the hair and makeup departments. Following Union's response and some subsequent social media backlash, Cruz apologized in a series of tweets, writing that he needed to, quote, acknowledge the pain of other people. He added in part, Gabrielle, I want you to know it was never my intention to invalidate your experience, but that is what I did. I apologize. You are a role model to the entire black community, and in my desire to be professionally neutral, as your co-worker, I should have at the very least understood you just needed my support. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.